Yo, what is up, Squirtle Shader? This is JD Zero bringing you a unboxing and a review on the power banks that I have and the electric bike that I also currently have right now. Um, I was gonna do an unboxing for the electric bike that I have, but I decided not to. I was just gonna just explain how I like this bike as in a review and the power banks that I have here that I use for like charging up for my phone to use for power uh, Pokemon Go and whatnot and the reason why I don't even use my second account anymore it's just mostly for powering up my uh, charging up my phone and uh, basically uh, what was it the the speakers that I use to like listen to music and whatnot. Now I have three individual charging banks. One that I use for again for my phone mostly or the speakers that I have that I use to charge it with. It has four slots. The link for this particular uh, power bank is going to be in the description down below. Uh, the thing about this power bank is a uh, I think it was like 24,000 watts or 20, 24,000 amps. Yeah, there was 24,000 amps that carries in this particular, uh, basically, uh, power bank. I ended up adding stickers onto the power bank from a friend who ended up getting me stickers to add it on there. Uh, when I got the iPod Touch, it came with the chargeable battery bank as well. This is a 5,000 watt battery bank. You can actually buy this by itself. It's only, uh, though I'll also have a link to the description now for this particular battery bank by itself. Um, these all will be on Amazon as well. And then the last battery bank is the first battery bank that I was able, able to get. Now this battery bank is also like 13 watts, 13,000, I mean 13,000 amps on this one. Uh, this was my first one that I got to charge up my phone. And then I end up getting speakers to use to charge them up. So it depends on what I'm trying to do. Uh, the reason why I got this one in particular is so I could do all four without having to pretty much charge it for the most part. Then... Knowing the fact that this was a free thing with the iPod Touch that I got, I decided to use this as a support charger as well. So now only that, I have two now two support chargers just in case the main, you know, battery does die eventually. Uh, these all charge pretty good amount, like like at least five to six hours, a good charge before even using it. It should last you depending on depending on what you're using. It should last you a pretty good amount of time before actually dying on you. So that's a good thing. Um, again, all three of these will be in the description down below from Amazon. And then the electric bike that I have is called the Swagton uh, e-bike. Or it's the Swagton EB5 basically. Uh, this is another electric bike that I, this is an electric bike that I got from Amazon. Um, the reason why I got in this bike was because for me to get home and back to work. Now, the thing is I want to also, you know, do a little bit of Pokemon Go. Sometimes it's also good when you're, you, you go to a nearby area that's, you know, a lot of people will be at to do Pokemon, like, uh, events like, uh, like community days. This is good for, like, a community day if you want to, like, head out to a certain area that's not that a lot of miles that needs to take drawn from the battery. You could go to that, that place and then be able to pretty much play it and use it there. Um, the batteries is pretty much have, like, five indicators on the... There's five bars on the indicator of the battery. Um, the battery is in here. The charging point is in here as well. It does come with a... Uh, 
charge brick and whatnot to use and it tells you green means if it's on the if it's off the plug it'll like if it's not plugged into here it's green if it's plugged in it's red if it's fully complete it turns green uh, it also has it like explained right here in the back side of the battery as well um other than that you have i guess you could say four ways of using this bike basically uh at you could use the throttle to use all where you could just use the electric itself you could just full throttle and then it just go by itself or you could use the uh pedals so once you turn it on because there's a button right here there's a, like a red button here uh let me just raise it up a little bit so there's gonna be like a red button on the handle here and it's gonna be right by the battery indicator the red button will turn it on and that's where you can use the throttle or the uh, assist pedaling for it let me go back down but yeah you could just use the uh, let me zoom in as well but yeah you can use the pedal here this is a fold bike so you can just fold the bike too you can just unfold it it already comes pre-assembled so all you need to do is pretty much put the handlebars onto the actual uh to the bike add it to the bike and then it's pretty much set um other than that again you have the pedal pedal assist where it basically allows you to use the throttle without having to actually use the throttle by using the throttle for your pedals and you could just power through with the pedals then you have where it's off and you can just use the pedals now the fourth uh, fourth way of using this is using the throttle and the pedals so it powers up the paddle assist even more you're only going to get about 15 miles off of it 15.5 miles off of it that's with the throttle and pedaling at the same time uh, once it reach the that's pretty much mostly the like the pros it it's good like that but it also comes with the bell so you already have like an official bell that comes with it it's going to be on like on the left side of your uh uh what you call your your uh, handlebar so that's a good thing it comes with two uh reflectors reflectors are i guess okay uh, they're just in the, in the Jarek, you know, reflector. It's just like an ordinary reflector. It does not come with lights. That's the terrible thing about, you know, certain bikes. Sometimes bikes don't have an installed light. So you might have to buy a, buy a separate light. It doesn't matter what light you buy. You just need to buy a separate light to use for your front light and your back light. I do have a back light. I have it off because I have it charging. I also have the flashlight that, because I just had a flashlight, so I used that for my uh, front light for the most part. Um, I guess those will be the kind of the cons there. Uh, now, for like, at least if you're going about two to three miles, no, if you're going about four to five to six miles off of this, the battery will drop down to two, so you only have like three bars of battery left. Uh, for you to have three bars of battery left, it really sucks because it will slow down the bike. And it's because of the motor in the back here, in the back of the tire. So we have a motor here in the back of the tire, which kind of really sucks because it's, it's the motor here that's like the heaviest thing. Like this is like 37 pounds. So it's, it's a lightweight bike, but the motor kind of like has like an extra set of pounds there and since it has like an extra set of pounds in the back of the bike it's heavy in the back so if you're trying to just pedal normally you're gonna have to deal with the fact that you're pulling extra weight there in the back so you need to have to have at least a good amount of a full charge battery to not deal with that weight because you don't want to get to about two to three bars now 
this is it goes to the uh, situation where I have with the uh, getting me another power bank. That's also from Amazon because pretty much buy a lot of things from Amazon. So we're gonna open up this power bank that I just ended up getting from Amazon because I was checking like all their reviews and whatnot and what would be like a good uh, battery, portable charger battery that I could use for this bike because it has a, a wall socket type charger. It doesn't have a USB charger and I need like a either a USB charger that will act as a so I don't have to buy like an actual like you know another power bank charger to have you know to like really like use it like I can spend like probably maybe about a get less money than what I had spent for the charger but this is like a good I would say a good $59 roughly if you have Amazon Prime you get that free shipping but this Vivo uh, power bank charger has a wall socket added like adapted into the actual charger here which is kind of cool because I can bring this charger along and then use this charger to charge my bike if I ever got to a good low three battery charge and you only need to really uh, charge this bike you can charge the bike all the way to full. It only takes like to five to six hours of charge to get a full charge. Um, but if you're like saying you're in Long Beach or whatnot, the thing about Long Beach, if you're like just trying to like ride out in Long Beach and you're playing Pokemon Go, and it gets to that point where you're only at like a three bar battery, you have this charger that will allow you to charge it you could charge it for you could charge your bike for like at least I would say maybe half the hours that it says to get a full charge out of this bike because if you do that you're still getting a full bar battery to where it gives you all five bars of your battery and then you can go back home or whatever or get another get you know miles couple of miles off of their bike before like really going back home and then you can just recharge it again, you know, with the actual portable charger. Um, this is a, again, this is the reason why, because I wanted to play Pokemon Go, and I kind of wanted to head back out into Long Beach and whatnot, just to like really, why is it so hard to slide out? <laughs> but yeah, this is the main reason why I wanted to get it, is because of the fact that yeah, this will be one of those things where I would need just for me to go to uh, Long Beach and whatnot. Um, we got some rule books here. Don't really care about that. We don't need to really worry about the rule book and how to use the actual portable charger because it's a portable charger. Everybody should know how to use the portable charger. We have a separate box here. And I'm guessing this is the cable to end up charging the actual port itself, battery charger. Uh, you don't really need the in-wall charger here, which is kind of cool that the fact that we don't really need this because there's actually two ways of actually charging the actual uh, portable charger here. You could use this, the main portable aesthetic to charge the actual charger. Uh, charge the actual battery or uh, the same thing with the uh, power the power bank that I have the one with the four uh, this red one here with the four here sockets here for like the USB there's two ways of actually charging this particular charger here you have the uh, iPod touch charger that you could charge the battery bank to getting the battery bank up to full or you could use the regular uh, uh, USB charger cord like this to charge up the actual uh, power bank as well. Um, 
I kind of noticed on the this particular battery pink, it has this particular uh, you know power cord that pretty much charges it. But there's another option here as well that I noticed that I saw here. It's the it also has the um, the uh, what you call it the the I think it's a it looks like an iPod Touch, also another iPod Touch charger thing that you could just charge it onto, or this might be a a new Samsung charger port. Let me try to see because I have my uh, charger point here because it's a CCAS charger. Oh no, it's actually a uh, okay. So it's actually a uh, new Samsung. USB charger cord where you could charge it with the uh, Samsung charger port. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, so you have that. Then you have the fact that you have the USB to charge any other uh, uh, device. And then you have the actual wall socket charger here. So where you could just put, so you could plug it in your like, like the like the electric bike into this and then it will be able to charge it. Um, it also has a five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. Yeah, probably looks like it got about, no, about a good six battery indicator charge on here. So that's, no, it looks like it might be more than seven. It may look like seven on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about a seven battery indicator right here. That know exactly how much battery you have in life, whatnot. Uh, you have the power button to turn on the uh, the port here the for this to have this to be working as well. Um, I think this is also turns on the whole entire. Uh, power bank so oh the power bank is at one so this is might be like a five bar yeah it's like a five bar uh battery indicator then and it doesn't take too long to like actually like uh turn it off basically because uh i think it takes like a second or eight seconds to turn it off basically hold on let me check here because that turns off. I guess the battery indicator could just turn off automatically. But then, you know, again, if you hold it for like a get eight seconds, whatnot, or three seconds, the that light turns on for this to uh, be used, basically. And then you hold it again for at least three seconds or so, or eight seconds, depending, because it might be eight seconds, and then it turns off again. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. Again, this is going to be good to use. It's more fitting like in a cup holder. If I have my cup holder here on the bike, I could put it to the cup holder. Uh, I don't know how I would do it. I wouldn't ride with it in the cup holder for the most part. I'll just put it in the bag. And then once I find a spot to like sit, I'll charge the bike and we're good to go basically um but yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to the the charging of this or what i'm going to be using this particular for is to get a little bit more battery to use out of the electric bike as well so i could be able to be more able to go even further than what i usually do go out of the miles and whatnot because again this works this is good it's gonna be more viable again if you ever want to get like an electric bike like this or something better but this is more of a uh if it's in your budget get this bike same thing with the charging port here or any of the other type of uh again battery packs here they're all 
get budget like you know charging cords the charging uh battery portable charger batteries i'm just stuttering everywhere but you get what i'm talking about so if you guys like this unboxing and revealing a review of the uh electric bike and the battery packs definitely check these out again like i said i'll have the description for all of these uh links for amazon in the description down below i'll probably put up like uh time cards as well if i could put time cards i don't think i'll be able to pick time cards on here for these so they probably would just be in the description down below if you really want to check these out it will be in the description down below uh but yeah again it's and these are like really easy to use and know how to use them and whatnot again like i said there's some pros and cons with the electric bike but it's a good uh about a good um budget to get a bike like this because it's like 4.99 for this particular bike so again it's good and you don't have to worry about this and i wanted to do another unboxing review just because i haven't gotten to the point of doing another unboxing review in a while since i did the uh computer and my computer is still doing very well. I may, I might need to do some upgrades to the computer, but I noticed that my uh, my computer review is doing unboxing does a very good job of bringing in the views, and I'm thank for everybody who did comment it in the video and uh, letting me know if they're gonna be able to get the game or not. I mean, get the computer or not, and then and have their own little situations with that so again thanks you guys for like checking out the video thanks for guys for going to this particular video and liking it or you know commenting and saying you're gonna probably get it or not and whatnot and all that jazz but hey uh i will be eventually start doing some other videos maybe like this or doing a you know some more of video game content eventually I'm going to bring to you guys or a podcast or whatever. Um, I'm going to keep rambling on. I'm already like 22 minutes into it. I'll see check you guys later. See ya. Bye.